Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another video for you. On this video, we're pretty much going to be showing you how to download and install OBS Studio. OBS Studio, that pretty much stands for Open Broadcaster Software, is pretty much a open source cross-platform that's pretty much for streaming stuff and recording on your computer. So pretty much uh, lots of people that use pretty much out there like on Twitch or YouTube or Facebook or just doing a regular computer capture, stuff like that. It's a very good program that's been out there and technically even gets so popular that they pretty much create one that's even integrated for Streamlabs. That's another video I'll pretty much be showing you how to do like this. It's also popular too because it's not just regular for Windows, they actually make this also work on Mac OS and believe it or not, even on Linux. So it's a very good program and pretty much we're gonna be showing you how to download and install it, this program in Windows 10. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do is pretty much go ahead and just open up a browser. And once you get to the browser, pretty much it's on the search bar, all you have to do is type in OBS project, OBS project.com. And pretty much this is what you get to. And again, it tells us pretty much that you have Windows, Mac, or Linux. You can choose which one you want to. You get the point. It'll take us which files if it was. I'm probably just going to cancel that. We don't need that. That's if we had a Mac. So pretty much you have Windows. You can select it. It takes us straight directly to it. And then pretty much the download will come to it right there. I'm actually going to cancel that one. That was pretty much the Mac version. The file is pretty much downloading. If you don't want to come to that route, you can pretty much go to download underneath the top area. You can select Windows. And they told us that you have the regular installer, the Mac, and pretty much the Linux one. Technically, if you have an older computer underneath Windows on there, pretty much right now I have a 64-bit. If you don't have a 64-bit, then you possibly need the 32-bit. And if it's not automatically doing this for you, you might need to select it. So in case you don't know what yours is, you can open up Explorer, go to this PC, right-click on it, select Properties. And pretty much right here, underneath the system type, this whole layout might look a little bit different, but you should be able to find this. It tells that mine is a 64-bit operating system, x64-based processor. So depending on yours, you might say a 32-bit operating system and x86 based processor depending on there. But pretty much this is what you will find out. But regardless, the program has finished downloading. So from that point, I'm pretty much going to hit and just select the file and open. You'll probably be prompted, go ahead and press yes. And pretty much from that point, you'll pretty much press next. For the time period, I'm pretty much going to go ahead and just exit the browser. I don't need any more. And I'm going to go ahead and press next. This is pretty much one of the most popular features that we get on this issue. It tells us that your system is missing runtime components that OBS Studio requires. Would you like to download them? Go ahead and press yes. Lots of people press no, then you're pretty much out of luck. So be sure that you select yes. And it's pretty much going to need some pretty much Visual Studio files that's needed for it. So here we are, and it pretty much took us to pretty much the OBS feature that's needed. OBS requires some additional files, Visual C++ 2019 redistributable so pretty much currently not installed on your computer go ahead and select this specific file if you have a 32 bit you'll pretty much need this file too same concept select it let it download and once it's done downloading go ahead and just run this file this is pretty much the most important one you will have to agree and select the license you can read it if you want to regardless go ahead and press install and you'll probably be prompted go ahead and press yes and pretty much let it do its work I'll probably go ahead and press close. I'll probably give you this location in case. So an example, this is 64-bit. I bet if I type in 32-bit, it'll probably take us... Oh, I mistyped it right there. Let's go back. I was selecting it right here. I don't think I had number locked install. So let me type in 32-bit. And takes us to the 32-bit right here. So I'll probably give you the links for these two. That in case you need the Visual Studio for this to work. But regardless, I'm probably just going to hit and just X this out. And now we're going ahead and go to Explorer again. I'm going to go to my downloads. And I'm going to go ahead and reopen up the OBS Studio. And probably be prompted to go to press yes and let it do its work again. So here we are trying to install Studio 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 again. Go ahead and press next. And tell this information. I really don't care. I'm pretty much going to press next. And you guys understand it hasn't prompted us anymore, so you pretty much installed that feature that we needed. From that point, go ahead and press install. You can change the destination folder if you know what you're doing. If not, just leave it as is. And I can go ahead and show the details if you want it to be shown. Right now, I really don't care. I'm pretty much going to hit and just let it do its work. All right, guys. So pretty much this program got installed, and it tells us that you can launch this program. You can uncheck it if you want to, then manually select it. I'm going to go ahead and just press leave it as is and press finish and allow this program to load up. And this is what you're going to come out. You can follow this instructions by following the customizations. I actually do all this stuff manually, and you can probably find YouTube videos that shows you how to do this 
additional features out there. And this is pretty much what you get. You can add additional s scenes. You can set up different mics. You can set up automatically background. You can set up music and background. You can set all so many cool features. You just need to look into it. One of my favorite ones out of this whole thing is the studio mode, where you can do transition and crossover into the next transaction. So pretty cool situation, but pretty much this is pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.